Howdy, uh, Shane from Team Fly Halo. I'm out here at the Bonneville Salt Flats with your motor minute for the week. Um, so here at the Bonneville Salt Flats, this is where the land speed record was set. And in that spirit, I'm gonna show how to install a speed bar so you can almost achieve the same dreams with a paraglider. So as a paraglider pilot, in free flight conditions, I would never consider taking off without a way to accelerate my glider. So paraglider pilots use speed bars. Paramotor pilots generally use trimmers. The problem with trimmers is that they only access about one third to one half of the usable speed range of the glider. If you put a speed bar on, it would be like accessing fourth and fifth gear on your car. So why wouldn't you fly with it? Once you get the training and know how to hook it up, it's not that difficult to use. But there are a few precautions that you have to know when using a speed bar on a paramotor. First one is you would never want to fly without it hooked up. So you can imagine flying around a paramotor with this speed bar line flapping going into the prop. So if it's on the motor, you have to use it. Second one, you must free flight it and make sure it's routed correctly. The nature of the speed bar is that it's not under tension until the glider's up. So you have to make sure the routing is correct. The difficult part of hooking a speed bar up <clears throat> is getting the tension right. So the way to check it on the ground is you have to mimic the glider's, the motor's flight profile. So lift the J bars up, lift the riser up all the way, and then measure it out. So I have mine set with a knot that I can adjust to where there's no slack whatsoever so it won't be hanging low as long as the glider's up. Last precaution is if you don't have the training to use a speed bar, you should do it at high altitude or seek advice from an instructor, or you can give us a call if you have questions about it. That's about it. That's the ins and outs of hooking up a speed bar. Fly safe.